Puerto Princesa is a coastal city on Palawan Island in the western Philippines. We arrived at the Puerto Princesa International Airport early morning. After claiming our luggages, we proceeded to the parking lot to meet our driver. During this entire trip, we have our private transport which means, only us are the passengers of the van. Our driver have to take a selfie picture for security requirement of the travel agency. <laughs> At the hotel, we met Vanji, our travel agent from Travel Palawan. After some refreshment in the hotel, we needed some rest so we have the energy for our day city tour after lunch. A short walk from our hotel, we found a local pizza store and there we tried their local pizza and we were not disappointed. It was really delicious. Part of the city tour is to visit the Puerto Princesa Bay Walk. The Bay Walk of restaurants. We saw so handicrafts made by the inmates from the Iwa Hig Penal Colony for sale. The Palawan Wildlife Rescue and Conservation Center PWRCC, was established on August 20, 1987, as the Crocodile Farming Institute CFI. A joint venture of the Philippine Government's Department of Environment and Natural Resources DENR, and the Japan International Cooperation Agency, the CFI is intended to facilitate the sustainable conservation of the Philippine crocodile and saltwater crocodile as well as to promote crocodile farming to locals as a means of livelihood. The management of the facility was done by the DENR's Biodiversity Management Bureau BMB. Also known as the Crocodile Farm, the PWRCC is dedicated to keeping two endemic crocodile species in captivity, the Philippine crocodile, Crocodilus mindarensis, and the saltwater crocodile, Crocodilus process. The facility has accreditation from the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species, CITES, which it obtained on January 4, 1997, allowing it to sell saltwater crocodiles for commercial purposes. While it is illegal for the center to sell Philippine crocodiles, saltwater crocodiles are sometimes sold for their leather. It also hosts other animals and plants including Palawan endemic species. Some animals were temporarily kept in the facility for rehabilitation due to being found injured in the wild or seized by authorities from illegal captivity and are meant to be released back to the wild. Some animals are kept under long-term captivity in the PWRCC. The PWRCC is also open to the public and organizes informational tours. As of October 2021, the facility hosts 1,450 individual crocodiles and 245 other wild animals. The PWRCC has four components. Crocodile Farming Institute. Wildlife Rescue Center. Ecological Destination Park. PWRCC Training Center. Also known as Rancho Sta. Monica, Mitra's ranch in Puerto Princesa, is a significant part of Palawan City Tours itinerary. Located in the hilly terrain of Sta. Monica Heights. Mitra's ranch is privately owned by the late Senator and Statesman Ramon V. Mitra Jr. The gracious family opened their ranch to the public and it, later on, became one of the more popular tourist sites in Puerto Princesa. Mitra's ranch has a viewing deck, perfect for sightseeing and relaxation. The deck allows the tourists to have a good sweeping view of the city and the sea. The serenity of the place and its fresh air are ideal for meditation, strolling around, reading a good book, 
watching the beautiful sunset, or simply breathing in nature's energy. Benches are located around the area where tourists have a quiet picnic. Guests bring in their food for a picnic as there are no restaurants on the property. Bakers Hill is a private property that became a tourist destination as they built a park, bake shop, and a restaurant for the public. They're famous for selling pastries, this is part of the city tour. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like it, hit the notification bell and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos.